Hello. Hi. How was your day? Uh, not good. I still couldn't get in to see Dr. Gallo. You, a doctor? <laughs> well, I hope you're not contagious. I've got a weekend in the telescope room I've been excited about for almost three minutes. <laughs> I'm not sick, it's for work. There's this doctor who refuses to see any sales reps. I'm trying to get in for months. Mm -hmm. Did you try wearing the shirt I said was inappropriate for work? Well, the doctor's a woman, but yes, because you never know. What kind of doctor is she? Um, a psychiatrist, why? Well, what if you make an appointment as a patient? Well, then you'll get to talk to her. Yeah, they already know I'm a pharmaceutical sales rep. Oh, what if Leonard made an appointment and tried to lay some groundwork for you? That's interesting. Well, I'm not going to make a fake appointment with a psychiatrist. What would I say is wrong with me? Low self-esteem. Social anxiety. Sexual insecurity. <laughs> None of that is true. Uh, denial. See, sweetie, the list goes on and on. <laughs> this is crazy. How would my going in there even help you? I don't know. You, you could talk to her. Maybe if it comes up, you could ask if she's heard about the drug. <laughs> what if I get caught? A fear of failure. Lack of confidence. Kind of a wuss. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it, but not because of them, because I love you. Thank you. Push over. Spineless. Still hasn't bought milk, even though I told him two days ago. <laughs> that was incredible. It was. I just wish Stuart wasn't around so we didn't have to be so quiet. I know. It's not like he returns the favor when he watches his Japanese porn cartoons. <laughs> You guys got a minute, or are you still coddling? <laughs> what is it, Stuart? Can I come in? Well, hang on. Should I send him away? No, it's okay. Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> What's up? Uh, well, I know the remodel is coming up, so I thought I'd make it easy on you guys and find my own place. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was done getting lucky tonight. <laughs> When are you thinking of moving? Uh, actually, I already found an apartment, so in a couple of days. Oh, okay. Sorry to see you go. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for everything. I, I, I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hmm. What? Hmm, I just have never been in this room while you're awake. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, making sure the telescope's camera is white field balanced. Hmm. What are you doing now? Still making sure the telescope's camera is white field balanced. Oh, I see. How about now? Now I'm making sure the telescope's camera is white field balanced and wishing you had a coloring book. <laughs> Well, I can be helpful. Give me something to do. You know, my father took me to work once, and in ten minutes, I figured out who'd been stealing from the cash register. It was my father. <laughs> Dad lost his job, but Mr. Hinckley gave me a fudge sickle. Fine. You want something to do? There's about six months of data on this hard drive. Why don't you go through it and see if you can spot any patterns or anomalies? I'm on it. Yeah, look at that. An Indian guy outsourcing a computer job to a white fella. <laughs> Yeah, okay. whatever it takes to keep you busy for a few hours. Found one. No, you didn't. There are millions of data points there. But look, an optical transient. Yeah, maybe that is something. How did you find that? It wasn't difficult. You know how when you see prime numbers, they appear red, but when they're twin primes, they're pink and smell like gasoline? No. Huh. I guess I'm a special boy. You know, sometimes when a boy is special, he gets a fudge sickle. Which, by the way, tastes like the speed of light. 